if we look at a slightly more complicated circuit, all this is is a, a, an inverting amplifier. We've got uh, feedback 1000 and 1000, and we can just do a straightforward uh, transient analysis. A look at the output here versus the input. You can see that it's the same size because it's unity gain, but it's uh, flipped in polarity. What's more important is if maybe we want to look at the uh, the noise analysis of this circuit. So let's just disable the transient analysis there and re-enable the, uh, the noise analysis. Now this is pretty much identical uh, to the uh, directive in the previous example. I'm looking at the V out here. So we've got a v, capital V open bracket V out uh, with respect to V1, which is here. And we've got our uh, frequency ranges and number of uh, points in, in the octave. So if we run that analysis, take a look at the uh, noise, we can see that the noise floor, bring it up here, is mostly um, between, certainly between 10 and, uh, what's that, 10, 1, 2, 3, 3K, it's around 25.713 nanovolts, but then it rises rapidly. Um, but it might seem like it rises rapidly, but if you look at the values here, there's not a great deal of difference. It just looks like there is, but there's certainly a change in, in noise as you get up to um, the 20K region. So in exactly the same way we did before, maybe we want to change the gain of, of, of this amplifier. So we can go here, let's say five, well, let's go for 10K, but let's keep this one at 10K as well. So we've still got unity gain, rerun the analysis. You can see we've got a slight increase. We've gone from 25 to, to 30 nanovolts now. So it's clearly the thing that's changed are, are these resistor values. So it's given us a little bit, uh, a little bit more noise. Now, in the same way uh, as we we step through the resistor values with the variable resistor, you can use the step command to uh, step through these resistor values. So let's do that next. So let's change this to R. So this is going to go from 1k to 20k in 1k uh, steps. I need to change these to variable. Uh, change this one. Uh, the analysis again. Oops, there we go. You can see that we're back where we, we were before uh, with 1K and then we're, we're heading up in, in terms of noise towards the 36 nanovolt region. So that gives you an indicator of how to uh, measure the, the effect of these R's. Now there's a little trick within LT Spice. If we just wanted to see the effect of the op amp without the, the R values, then what we can do, I just take this step command out, pull these back to fixed again. So we're going to do 1K, but what we can do is use this keyword noiseless. If you put noiseless after your value, Run the analysis again. This value, this noise, is now only due to the op amp itself. Um, so you can do comparisons on, on the effect of the, the resistor changes. Um, so you can get this as a sort of a baseline, then do it, run a, a new analysis and see what the effect of the, the large value resistors are. So that's the sort of noise analysis using the uh, dot noise command. There's something else you, you, you may want to do, and that's to create noise sources, to emulate noise sources within your circuit. And the way we can do that is by creating these things, which this is an arbitrary uh, behavioral voltage source. And if we do a right click draft uh, component, and if you type BV, you should see these pop up. Now there are current sources and voltage sources. You want to select voltage source. And what that enables us to do is enter functions. So we can say sinusoid function, or uh, I think uh, pink noise or white noise. And what I've done is I've created a white noise source here. And just move that over a little bit. Yeah. So by default, the peak to peak here is gonna be a one volt uh, peak to peak signal. Um, if I want it to be smaller, then I divide it down um, by however many factors, I, I, you know, you wanna divide it down by, and you do that in the um, function here. So divided by 10, divided by 100, divided by 1000, etc. I'm just going to leave it at one just so I, so I show you what the white noise looks like. If I go back to the transient analysis, and I run this, 
So your standard signal. If I click on the white here, that's our white noise source. Now, um, and you can see it's about one volt uh, peak to peak. What I can do is I can inject noise into this any any point I like. Now, if you had a different, if this was a differential amp, you would want to put the noise source into both the negative and the positive because it's a common noise source. This would represent sort of the you'd be able to test the effectiveness of your differential amp in rejecting uh, common noise on both pins. Now, the best way of injecting noise into this is to use a low value resistor. This effectively acts as a sort of a mix node, if you like, like that. So, so let's say 100 ohms. And rerun. Lo and behold, we get a signal that has noise superimposed on it. Now, if this amplifier was introducing gain, then obviously um, the noise would be amplified along with the, the signal. So it, effectively what you've got is white noise added to the signal and then multiplied. If you, if you build up your differential amplifier and feed the white noise into both uh, positive and negative pins, you should see the noise uh, rejected on the output, but you'll still see the uh, input signal getting passed through. Um, you can change the the frequency uh, and the variation of your, your noise source. If you want to look at the available functions, then if you go into the help menu and you take a look at doo -doo -doo -doo, simulator circuit elements, if you look at the arbitrary behavioral source, um, you'll see that there are many, many functions um, that you could call upon and you so i've chosen to use uh, white noise uh just random numbers that you know you can experiment around uh and, and inject various things into the into the circuit and see uh how good your circuit is at rejecting that type of noise i hope that's helpful thank you